A Northeast Dallas neighborhood is taking a new approach to fighting crime. The neighbors are buying security cameras. The Richland Park Estate subdivision is near Richland College, close to Dallas's borders with Richardson and Garland. There are 141 homes in this subdivision. Neighbors are putting up the $5,000 to buy six cameras to monitor streets and alleys. The most common crimes in the area, home and garage burglaries. They've already had a crime watch program, but it's not enough. We're just fed up with, with the incidents, a number of incidents, all right? And it, it's really becoming, and it's starting to affect our area from house values, people moving, people, that kind of thing. And, you know, that, that's really the big issue. And, and that's really why I think everyone feels, you know, we got to do something. The cameras feed back live pictures to a central location, and they will be recording 24 hours a day. Neighborhood Watch has gone to another level. We're watching over you. A message to crooks from some residents in Lake Highlands who are reclaiming their neighborhood. Crime just continues to escalate, and we just got sick and tired of it, and we decided we had to do something to take our neighborhood back from the criminals. The homeowners group put their heads together along with a little cash and came up with this surveillance system. Seven cameras stationed throughout the area. There's a manning center at one residence, but anyone can watch it live on the Internet. Being able to watch everything that's going on in the community and hopefully to eliminate the things that happen in the, that are happening in the community. Hopefully deterring crime. They're not the only ones fighting crime with technology. In South Dallas, Forest Heights is in on it too. You can see for just about over a mile uh, from where they're set. Their high-tech cameras can zoom in and focus on just about anything. Hopefully be able to get good suspect descriptions, get vehicle information, um, hopefully even uh, license plates. Senior Corporal Jaime Castro has been patrolling this neighborhood for years, and he says it was infested with crime. The extra eyes are a welcome sight. If somebody does actually come into this neighborhood and commit a crime, we're going to be able to go back and review the tapes. Everybody should have it. If, you know, if you can afford it, have it. Any surveillance systems can range in price here. The residents have all pitched in about 50 bucks, and that's just a one-time fee to help keep, hopefully, their street much safer. We're live in Dallas. Raquel Eatman, CBS 11 News. Criminals in Lake Highlands are being warned to smile because cameras are watching them as they enter Richland Park Estates. Residents can Bill, log on to their the, home computers uh, is, and volunteer to monitor the cameras from the comfort of their own easy chairs. Should they spot trouble, they can email police a snapshot while calling 911. That image can then be emailed or forwarded to the patrol car that's en route to the scene so that the officer en route to our neighborhood will see and know exactly what they're looking for. And the residents say it's a good investment. Each homeowner paid one time $50 fee to get the surveillance cameras installed. Fed up with crime, a northeast Dallas neighborhood is trying something new. People there are paying for security cameras to monitor their streets and their alleyways. This particular subdivision is called the Richland Park Estates. It's on the border of the Dallas Richardson area near Richland College. And Fox 4's Lynn Kawano is at DPD headquarters, Dallas Police headquarters, with more on what they're doing in this neighborhood. Lynn? Steve, that area has been a focus for Dallas police for quite some time. Now there'll be something else focusing in security cameras. As I do know, just about everyone here. And they know me. In her Mustang GT, Diane Mott patrols through the Richland Park Estate subdivision. I do look for open garage doors. On the streets and in the alleys, she's been doing this for years, driving by the 141 homes as part of the neighborhood crime watch. I feel like I'm helping. But it's not enough. Yeah, we're just fed up with, with the incidents, a number of incidents. Fed up with the number of home and car burglaries, neighbors will be splitting the $5,000 cost for security cameras like the ones installed in Deep Ellum last year, to monitor the subdivision. Police say the crime rate dropped 90% in the months after Deep Ellum installed the cameras. The Richland Park Estates cameras, like the Deep Ellum ones, will feed live pictures to a computer. They'll also be bulletproof and hidden so that people won't know which way the cameras are facing. Neighbors will monitor the cameras in shifts, and they will record 24-7. Police can't be 
everywhere all the time exactly you know it, it, it is definitely you know the more eyes and ears that we have out there is definitely a good thing police have focused on the area around richland park estates recently and it's made a difference crime has dropped 30 percent between january 1st and february 7th of this year from last year home burglaries are down significantly from 23 last year to nine car burglaries are also down 19 last year through february 7th 16 this year Neighbors think cameras will bring the numbers down even more. Sometimes it takes drastic moves to make things happen. Some are calling it drastic, saying the cameras could be misused. You don't have to trust us. We're not shooting in their home. We're not shooting in their backyard. Diane Mott says the cameras aren't meant to invade privacy, just to help stay ahead of those invading your property. The six security cameras will be installed in the next month. Live at Dallas Police Headquarters, I'm Lynn Kawano, Fox 4 News. Tom, if you walk or drive through the Richland Park Estate subdivision, you may want to smile, but that's because there's a very good chance one of their hidden cameras might be watching your every move. Richland Park Estates is a seemingly quiet neighborhood, but beyond the well-kept homes and manicured lawns is a serious problem. Our biggest problem with crime is in the daytime hours. It's not at night. The car break-ins are at night, but the home burglaries in the broad daylight while everybody's off at work. Bill Mott says crime is all too common here. Their small homeowners association considered paying for around-the-clock security, but the cost was more than they could afford. That's when they thought of surveillance cameras. Criminals don't like being on TV. You know, they don't want to have their picture taken. And if they know there's cameras, they're going to go somewhere where there's not cameras. After talking with a number of companies, they finally called Butch Davis. They were asking you to see if a project was conceivable or doable that would put cameras at an inexpensive price so that a wide variety of people could see the neighborhood. After three months, this is what Davis and his team at OmniWatch came up with. A total of seven cameras now watch the alleys and streets recording every car and person who travel past. It's quite impressive. It's very state-of-the-art. We're the first neighborhood in the state of Texas to do it. Mott says homeowners can view the cameras via a secured site on the Internet. The best part is the cost, only around $7,000. But what about the issue of privacy? We don't care what our neighbors are doing. We're not spying on our neighbors. They're our friends. We're looking for intrusion from outside, and that's the entire thrust of this whole program. Only time will tell whether or not the cameras have an impact on crime, but the news has created quite a buzz for Butch Davis and his company, who are already talking with other homeowner groups. In order for this to work, people have to know that they're on camera, so they have put up dozens of signs around the subdivision letting people know or warning them that they are being watched. Reporting live in Dallas, I'm Jim Grimes, WB33, News at 9. Residents in One Lake Highlands neighborhood say they have had enough, and their crime watch is going high-tech to catch the crooks that are preying on their homes. The Richland Parks Estate Subdivision plans to install surveillance cameras so resident volunteers can monitor streets and alleys for a suspicious activity. Media reaction is that they can email a picture of the of the uh, incident directly to the police department and at that point call 911 immediately. And the investment, the 140 residents will pay $50 each to get those cameras installed. NBC5's Ramona Logan joins us now with a crime crackdown. Ramona? Well, in a few weeks, there will be signs posted in this neighborhood warning criminals of hidden cameras. The residents here are fed up. She still has nightmares about walking in this house and finding those two strangers in our house. Cindy Gotro's daughter survived walking in on burglars. That's when one guy just ran out of the house, and then the other, the other uh, person, which in, she was a female, came to Morgan, my daughter, and just started screaming at her to let her out the front door. Now Cindy is part of the Richland Park Estates Crime Watch. On a daily group walk two days ago, they called police after spotting kids in an alley who had tried to break into a house. Police arrived in time to make an arrest. Where we're talking about putting up the cameras, the cameras would have been able to identify where these, where these two kids were. No more having to see criminals in person. <laughs> Trained volunteers will be able to monitor the network of cameras that will be watching streets and alleys, even on the Internet. Uh, their immediate, re immediate reaction is that they can email a picture of the, of the uh, incident directly to the police department, and at that point, call 911 immediately. 
anything that's caught on video, like the other ones I mentioned in the private sector, where we can actually see the suspect and possibly identify the suspect is definitely a help to us. Now, the Neighborhood Association said it would have cost up to $1,500 a month to hire a security company to patrol these streets. Now it's going to cost the 140 homeowners just $50 each to get those cameras installed. Reporting live from Bonnie Logan, NBC5, Dallas.